assalamu alaikum good evening everyone all the panelists and attendees i can see that now uh, 20 people around joined with us so first of all i i am very thankful on behalf of mp everyone who joined and uh, especially panelist so before moving into the session i would like to in invite mr habib to come on the mic and give a brief introduction about mp organization habib bhai please khair jamil bhai assalam alaikum everyone welcome to another session of mp kaise talk series jazakallah khair everyone who has whoever has been contributing to this uh, very noble effort Uh, so uh, i'll take you through some of the uh, some of the main you know it will give you a kind of structure structural information about amp we cannot because the talk is not on amp in fact the talk is on some other topic so it will be very brief intro of amp so amp actually was formed back in 2008 2009 with a vision of giving platform to in indian muslim professionals Uh, who can come on up you know on this stage and contribute to the society and to the community and to the nation as a whole um, the key areas where we work is employment and uh, employment education and empowerment this has been our key vision these are some of the statistics which we have uh, related to some of our main key uh, key areas of work and these are some of the main our uh, projects so school development programs which cover skill development lectures uh, school connected uh, school you know uh, connections so these are some of the statistics related to that 2800 skill development lectures we have done which has benefited more than 800 schools and 281000 students then the other project is esc employment assistance cell which has job fairs your drives and employability trainings Uh, these all things uh, which have we have done 360 job fairs uh, which has uh, placed to 21000 candidates in various uh, smaller and bigger organizations we have uh, another project which is scholarship and, uh, and the self employment project which has uh, so far we have been able to help 800 plus cases and we have amp resource center as a project which has career counseling counselors across various professions and a lot of people have benefited from this and we also have awards and partnerships please go to the next slide next slide please yes these are some of the new new initiatives of amp which has uh, go back to go back one slide yes so um there are three ground breaking path breaking initiatives from uh, amp uh, one of them is india's first crowd funding platform of muslims related to zakat which is indiazakat.com they have been able to do number of large number of cases uh, to uh, we have been uh, successfully closing on this um, we this is for zakat as well as non zakat as well go back one slide please we are talking about india zakat you now yes uh, so this is one one key 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 initiatives from uh, amp india zakat.com which can, which connects the zakat uh, zakat giver to zakat taker beneficiary to the benefactors and another very important and recent initiative is the india mentors.com which tries to because we we see that there are a lot of there is a lack of mentors available within community because each usually our families Uh, do not have role models our students to, are not connected to the people of from within industries and they are uh, they uh, so when they are study they are kind of in a dark they don't know what is the requirement of current uh, current requirement of the industry current requirement of the corporate world that that definitely needs some at least if not uh, in depth knowledge but at least some superficial knowledge some mentoring some role model which we are lacking so to fill that gap we have the indiamentors.com Uh, which tries to connect uh, indian professionals with the people who need guidance and there there are co complete modus operandi on this which you can go and see on the indiamentors.com and this is still in in kind of developing phase but we we will we our focus is with this tool we will mm -hmm. be able to help a lot of people a lot of uh, young professionals and undergraduate students and inshallah in future school students 
and so that we can mold them as per the industry requirement and we can we can focus on the skills skill enhancement which is it more required and the last initiative is uh, empower jobs which is a free job portal for job seekers and uh, this this uh, uh, we we give a lot of other benefits as well like cv review cv cv writing services with this at very nominal cost and some of the reviews are uh, free as well uh, so these are top three uh, uh, recent initiatives, which are uh, which I think is a is a product of um, lockdown and digitalization effort we have been able to deliver. So the, in a nutshell, we we are working on empowerment education and employability, which are, I think, uh, core areas of work. So we request everyone, whoever is participating, to come forward and work with AMP India, AMP India, and those who are in KSA, we, we request them to come forward and work with the KSA team. We have chapters in three regions, and we have responsible people, and we have different projects where, and it, it depends upon what kind of area you are interested in and we will be able to you will be because of the sheer number of projects we have there are more than 20 projects uh, you know bigger projects and then those are divided into sub smaller projects so based on your your key skills your area of interest we will be able to find a project which will suit you and you can contribute to us to not only i mean to as an uh, amp as an organization but to the community and as a nation you know uh, which which indian muslim are a big part of the Bay population is a big part of it uh, so that that definitely contributes to the progress of nation so this is uh, amp and jazakallah uh, khair for listening to me and inshallah i hope that uh, this is, uh, this session remains fruitful and if there is any question, inshallah, then we will take. Jazakallah khair and Jamil Bhai OT. Assalamu alaikum all. Uh, in today's session, AWS session, uh, the early, in earlier session, uh, Brother Tanvir has covered almost all the, I mean, all the part of the introduction, like how AWS work, what is the cloud, cloud, uh, I mean, uh, cloud system. And uh, he shown to, I mean, he shown how, uh, uh, I mean, how we can create the EC2 instance, and uh, how we can create the uh, create the Linux machine, and how we can uh, create the Windows machine. So, uh, in today's session, uh, I will show you. I, I will show how we we can uh, uh, deploy the application in, in EC2 instance, and uh, uh, how we can uh, set up uh, uh, the environment like uh, Apache Tomcat server and uh, MySQL server. So for today's session, I have already created the machine. Uh, is all, all the people are uh, I mean, I mean, uh, able to see uh, see my screen? Okay. Okay. So I have already created my uh, the, I have already created the instance, and uh, I have logged in, and uh, the people can see my. The instance is also in uh, running mode. Uh, this instance I have created, and uh, the security group also I have already uh, I have already created, and uh, key pair is already uh, created. So I have logged in. So. From here, uh, I will press Control P. Uh, it will open in the putty. Uh, this is I have logged in the first time, so I am getting that uh, to take the update of the Linux package. Uh, this instance we have uh, uh, created uh, and uh, we have selected the AWS operating system. So I will run the command sudo ym update so it will take uh, uh, the update package of the linux which is available and once uh, this uh, package will be updated so after that uh, we'll go to uh, install the java because uh, 
uh, you know uh, tomcat uh, when we have to run the tomcat it's run on the top of the jvm so the first thing is uh, uh, we need the java if i will press java uh, command so it will say command not found so so first thing is uh, we need to uh, set up the java so i will run the command java if uh, i have a, i have already the uh, the command uh, i will install this java 1.8 and uh, minus open jdk this version because uh, the application which i have uh, i uh, i mean which I, I will deploy that will run on the java 1.8 if if i will uh, uh, if i will not select uh, this uh, java version so in that case uh, it will uh, install the default version i mean uh, in the default version of uh, uh, java that will be 11 or uh, any the latest latest release uh, which is available in the linux package so that will create the issue when uh, once i, I will uh, deploy my application so in this case uh, i will install the java specific to my uh, application so i will press enter now it will ask uh, it is ask uh, uh, the confirmation so i will press yes now it's installing the java Okay, just let me. Okay. Okay, I got the request that uh, to send the command in a chat group. So I have uh, Get the message. Okay, uh, now uh, the Java is installed. So I will check with the Java command whether it's working or not. Okay, so I see here uh, the Java is installed and with the version uh, which, which was I was specified. So here uh, uh, Java is installed. So now I will go to, I mean, uh, I will go to uh, set up the Tomcat. So I will go to the website. Uh, 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 you know, uh, in Windows, uh, we can have, we can either, uh, we have the two options. Either uh, once uh, we can uh, take the setup file and do the setup. The another option is uh, we can take the, uh, the extract, the zip file, anything. So, and after that we can extract and we can uh, configure the to uh, our port that is the another option so we'll uh, uh, we'll see from uh, the extract in the linux so i have uh, gone to the, this uh, apache website and uh, i will find out uh, this uh, tomcat folder okay and here uh, i will i will choose uh, uh, this uh, server specific version on which uh, uh, the application is created. So here uh, I got this uh, uh, 8.5 version specific to my application. I uh, now I will go here and I will see this. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, this uh, Apache Tomcat. This is this is the uh, 
this is uh, the tomcat uh, uh, i mean gz5 this is same like uh, in windows we have uh, uh, the zip file so i will copy the copy link address and uh, here uh, 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 we have the two option either we can download in the local and uh, do the sftp the another option is we can directly download it from the internet so what i will i will do i will put w get command and one more thing uh, uh, this tomcat server i will deploy uh, with my named user uh, which was uh, i mean the default user this is uh, ec2 user i will not uh, uh, use the root uh, i mean uh, sudo command to get installed from the root uh, i mean uh, root access so because uh, sometime uh, this depends on the use case suppose in uh, if uh, we are uh, uh, i mean uh, we are using for the learning purpose we are not uh, setting uh, setting up the uh, production environment so in that case we can uh, do this way because we can play uh, with our application we can uh, do setup we can do uh, we can run the command we can see uh, the, i mean how it's working so in this case, uh, so in this case uh, i'm not going to uh, do the setup uh, with uh, this tomcat server to uh, I mean, from the root access. So, what I will do? I will uh, copy this. The first thing I have to check uh, what is the current directory. Okay. So, I will download. Sorry. Okay, I have put it the this command in the chat box. Okay. Now I will go here and I will uh, refresh it. Okay. Uh, now I saw uh, this. Uh, this is this gz file is downloaded from the internet. So I now uh, the other uh, the next step is to this extract this file. So to extract this file, I will use the tar command. Get v f, and I will put this file name. Okay. Now I can see this. Uh, uh, gz file is extracted and i can see all the all the files uh, that required by the tomcat uh, here uh, let me let me put this command in the chat box so that it can be access to i mean anyone can uh, get this command and they can copy and they can try if they want for the i mean uh, for the future. Okay, we can see this uh, uh, this Tomcat server is installed, and now uh, I will check uh, this configuration. That uh, I mean, what is the? Uh, you can say this is simple. Uh, the port, the thing is simple. Uh, the normal, if you would download the, this uh, uh, this Tomcat in in your Windows, and so by that by default, it will have the 8080 port. So what I will do? my this complete is uh, i mean copied so now i will do i will go this directory 
I will be uh, to I mean to, to work faster. Uh, I'm using both uh, Vinacity and Putty so that this the thing uh, I mean the URL get copied and uh, it will it may not delete. So I will go here. I will search this and after that because this uh, uh, this uh, this tomcat I have uh, downloaded uh, without the root access so easily I can I can run this command to start the tomcat I uh, I will run the startup dot this uh, this shell script to start start the tomcat server okay I can see this uh, message tomcat started so what i will do i will go here and i will copy copy this ip and put the port 8080 sorry Oh, okay. Now we can see uh, our Tomcat server is started. You can see this is the default page of the Tomcat on the port 8080. Here you can see server status, manager app, host manager. So to deploy our application, we have the three options. Okay. Yeah, you, you can see here. I have accessed this Tomcat server. This is my local machine, and the Tomcat is installed here. I mean, in a remote machine, in a Linux machine, and this is my local machine. I have uh, uh, accessed this. Okay. So for this reason, uh, you know, this public uh, there is in EC2 instance. They have a, uh, here. We have the two things. One is public IP. One is the private IP. So uh, this is a common. Private IP is the local. I mean, this this is only for the local scope. But if anyone wants to access this from the outside of this PC, I mean, to remote access. So for that uh, for that we use the public IP address, or we can we can also uh, use this host name, or I mean, uh, whatever the the host name defined is as an EC2 W uh, EC2 instance in by the AWS. Reason uh, I will use uh, this uh, public IP and port, and for that uh, for that reason, uh, that purpose also I mean to access this Tomcat server to the remote th th that that required this uh, the uh, the firewall access for the port to access this outside the world. You know, uh, to access this uh, Tomcat to outside, uh, we need, uh, I mean, uh, we need to uh, this uh, uh, enable the port outside, uh, I mean, as a firewall in bound rule. So I have already done this custom, I mean, uh, this 8080 port to the outside. So it will accept the 8080 port from the outside, I mean, from the remote, I mean, from the, my local PC, it will accept the port 8080. Uh, so this is how I mean uh, I have access the Tomcat here in my local PC and I have installed in uh, the EC2 instance. So if now I will uh, I, um, the next thing is I have to deploy my application. Okay. So for that reason I have to visit this manager app. Okay. So here uh, what I see this uh, access is denied because. Uh, uh, you, you see you are not authorized uh, if the message you are not authorized to view this page by default only accessible from the google Chrome browser running on the same machine as in tomcat okay so what it says uh, this uh, manager application will be deployed i mean will will get access only from the same machine it will not have uh, uh, this application will not have access to the outside and other thing is uh, it needs the uh, uh, users and role okay so we will see here. I will go here in the web app. I will go this man because this is the manager application from where we can deploy our application. So here I will do. I will go the manager and 
I will go to his uh, context.xml, which is already, uh, I mean, which is already uh, seen, it, it can be seen already in the web page, I mean, in the error message. Now I, I will see, uh, I can see here, allow is equal to this uh, well way, this tag. This means that, uh, yeah, this can be accessed only in the local host. I mean, in the, in the local machine only, it can be accessible. It will not accessible to outside the world. So for, for now, I will uh, comment out to not check this rule, okay. And next thing is, I have to uh, set up the user. I mean, uh, I have to add the users and role also to access this manager API. So here I will go and I will find out Tomcat user XML. Uh, here I can see this uh, already there, uh, but uh, what I will do, I have already prepared this. So I will copy it from here and I will paste below that. Okay. Now I will go again. I will refresh the page. Oh, okay. Now I can see uh, it's asking for the credential whichever I have provided in uh, uh, in the Tomcat user.xml, I can uh, use this credential. So I have used the admin credential. So I have uh, write it down and I have signed in. Okay. Now I can see here, there is a lot of application is uh, there. This example, host manager, other, other, so what I will do, I will uh, try to see this example. Okay, uh, this is already, this is by default there in, uh, uh, I mean, this is for, this was provided by uh, this Apache Tomcat. Okay. Okay. Now I will uh, deploy my application, which uh, which I have the war file. Okay. So you can see here uh, we have the two option. Either we can deploy it from uh, uh, this uh, local directory. I mean that is. Uh, in the server EC2 instance, I have already, uh, I mean, if you, if you have already uh, copied the war file there, you can deploy it from there. If uh, also you can uh, deploy from the and remote machine, I mean, from your local PC to EC instance, that also you can do. But uh, if, uh, we, if you do this from uh, the local PC, it will take, it will, it will, it will take the lot of time. Okay, so uh, what I will do, I will, uh, I will, uh, I will take, I will deploy it from the local, I mean, uh, from the remote, I mean, from uh, uh, this EC2 instance, because I have already copied, it will not take much of time to deploy this application. The other way also is, uh, is we, we can uh, copy from, I mean, uh, this, we can copy from, uh, copy this in a web app, and we can restart the Tomcat application, at, at the Tomcat server. So it will auto automatically get deployed. Okay. So I have already, uh, this file is copied. So actually, uh, the, the one thing is, this war file is basically, this is the web, web application file. I mean, this can be deployed in a web server. And this is create, uh, this is the Java based. I mean, uh, this application is Java. If you, if you create the web application, using the Java. So you will have to uh, export the war, uh, export the application as in war file. There is a deploy, de deployment file. This can be deployed in, uh, suppose if you are doing any development, okay. So the next thing uh, in, in or any organization, we need to deploy it from, I mean, from your local PC or from your local dev server to 
further environment to take to, to go into the testing and after that it will go to the live that is in production so in the, in this case in this case uh, what, uh, what uh, we uh, i'm trying to show the java application so here uh, we have the war file so this is uh, uh, this is about the war file i mean uh, uh, you can uh, this is a java web application in the java web application you can create the application in a, uh, the, the normal web application like a servlet in jsp or you can uh, create the application in jsf application or you can create uh, this spring and hibernate application so in my application i have uh, uh, i have used the spring and hibernate so i will do, i will try to deploy and i will try to run run this application so i will see this lo my lo see this location i will copy and this context path is same as the i mean uh, this path will be used to access my application uh, like here ip uh, this is a public ip port tomcat port slash this is the manager manager is the application instead of manager i will uh, use this root context to access this application okay so i will uh, i have uh, filled this context path uh, context path and i have uh, entered the ur i mean the location from where the war file is located okay so now i will uh, click on deploy so i can see this application is got deployed okay if i can uh, i mean if i will uh, uh, use this application it will not because there will be a lot of error because uh, i have not said uh, i have not done any setup of uh, mysql because it uh, it need the database also so i will do that so before that the first thing is uh, we can see i mean how i mean what is the log here in the tomcat apache tomcat server I can see this log and this Catalina log. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing is uh, as we can see, I mean, how application, uh, I mean, how we can set up the Java and how we can set up, uh, how we can uh, do the setup of uh, Apache Tomcat, how we can start the server and how we can uh, deploy the application. Our, uh, I mean, in, in here we can see in the deployment manager, we can, uh, uh, this application is got deployed. Here we can start, uh, we can start the application. Uh, the application was already started. So I have stopped the application. Okay. Now there is there was uh, also other option. The other option is undeploy also. Before that, uh, just uh, I want to uh, to know that uh, here in web app, if I will uh, refresh it, so I can see this application. This is the war file application, and here I can see this application has got uh, this war file got extracted. And here I can see this war file because uh, I, I was deployed it from uh, the UI and I was taking the war file already located in my uh, this uh, EC2 instance. Okay. So what I will do, I will uh, undeploy this application. Okay. I can see this application is gone. Okay. And I will refresh. I see this application is also, uh, I mean, uh, this H2N folder is also deleted. Okay. Now, what the, what is the another way? Another way we can uh, deploy the war file from here. This is uh, already I have copied the war file. Uh, so what I will do, I will copy this 
I will go to this location and I will copy this war file into the web app directory of the Tomcat. Okay. We'll go here in the back. Okay. No. Okay. I will go in this folder war file. Let me okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I can see my war file. Okay. I will copy this war file into the uh, web directory of the Apache Tomcat. Okay, and we copy this uh, location, this uh, web app location. Okay. If I will refresh. So I see HM downloaded. Okay. No. I will try if uh, in from the refresh. Yeah. So I can see this. I can stop and after that I can uh, start this application. Okay. This is the overall of uh, the Apache Tomcat server. Now we will go for uh, this uh, MySQL server installation. So I have written down the steps of the MySQL installation. Okay. The first, uh, I will go to get out of this side directory. Okay. Yeah. Now, I will copy this. It will get, uh, it will download this uh, MySQL community release from the internet. Okay. Now it's downloaded. The next, the next thing is to install the local installation of this uh, MySQL community server. Okay. Mm. The next thing is this uh, installation from the Linux package of the MySQL community server. Okay, so it's uh, so it asks for the confirmation and it shows the total size of this installation. Okay, so I will uh, I will type Y. And again, it will it asks for the confirmation. So I will uh, enter the Y. Now it is installing. Okay. We can see this uh, installation is done. And this MySQL community, I mean, uh, uh, normally in the Windows, uh, if you see, uh, it will ask for the port and a lot of uh, customization, a lot of configuration, like uh, the setting of the password, root user password. 
so here we can see it, it's not asked i mean this this haven't asked anything about this customization of the port or any user configuration so so to anyhow uh, if uh, this mysql is installed uh, i will uh, i will check whether mysql is installed or not if i'll see this uh, i can see some error log because uh, uh, connect to local oh okay this means that i have i haven't started the mysql services so what i will do i will first start that mysql service okay okay i mean this uh, syntax is not correct oh okay because uh, 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 this was that was the syntax issue mysql is installed okay and i can see it's asking for the password because i don't have any, any password so in this case in this setup it not ask for the password so what i will do i will cancel this uh, process and i will uh, see the temporary password this steps i have already uh, noted this is from this mysql id.log file i will search this uh, search from the grip command temporary password this is this will be the temporary password that is generated at the time of installation so i will put this and now uh, this i can see the temporary password is this so i will copy this and i will uh, enter when i will uh, access from the mysql I mean, the mysql i have already copied this uh, password the temporary password so i have pasted i can see mysql is uh, mysql is accessible okay here i can see i can run the command like show databases okay okay now why what is uh, i mean it's getting it's telling that you must reset your password so what i will do i will uh, reset this password and from where i can see here i will write this command and i will set my password okay so in this case i will put my password as demo at the rate 123 okay i can see this uh, password is set i mean the password is changed this is the this is the easy easy step only uh, we can uh, we have to write uh, this uh, set password command okay now i will uh, get out of, of from the mysql and i will try to log in log in again with the new new password which i have set okay now i can see this uh, i can access this uh, mysql 
okay now the next step is uh, to restart our application i mean uh, restart of the tomcat server so i will quit this mysql and I will go to this Apache Tomcat directory, this bin directory to stop uh, the Tomcat server. I will run this shell script to shut down the server okay if i will try to access yeah this means that our tomcat server is stopped now i will start again okay now server is started i will go here and i will try to access uh, this got error so i will go here and i will try to check the log if anything is there in the log or not okay I see the latest log. Okay. Okay. As you guys, uh, you can see this error. I mean, this is from my application. Okay. Here, I'm getting error as uh, database dot. I mean, this property file is not found. Okay. And in my application, what I have did, uh, I have. Uh, uh read the property file property file location from the server i mean from the server environment variable so here in, in this case this tomcat server the catalina dot property file is used to define this uh, uh, property and in this property i will set the property file location so here i will go here catalina dot property and i will go again in the log I have copied this property and I have uh, put the equal sign and here I can see this my this is my property file. In this property file, what I will do, I will uh, rename this some of the property which will be used to connect the database. From the application, and this I will create. I will put as a create because uh, I have to create that all the required table uh, the automatically. Uh, here i will create the database with the same name which i have put in the property file uh, for, uh, for and for now i have to copy this location in the catalina dot property file i have saved this property file okay uh, Thank mm -hmm. you. 
this uh, this is done now next step is i have to log in again this mysql okay what i will do i will try to create the duplicate session and here i will check uh, this server stuff I will try to access the computer server again and I will try to access the application again. Okay, now also it's getting the error. Okay. So no log updated. Okay. In this case, I will uh, restart the application again. Okay, now I will try again to access the application. Okay. Okay, here I can see. I can see here uh, this uh, application is. I mean, uh, I can see. I, I can see the login page. I will check the log again. I can see everything is smooth and everything is running smoothly. Okay. Now, next thing is in the database, I will see Dear, you know, I think that's in the video. Uh, sorry, guys. I think uh, I got to know that uh, some of you guys are not able to see my screen. And I'm also uh, just looking into it. Once my screen is visible, then I will continue. Thank you. 
हेलो sorry guys for delay because some uh, some of the uh, some of guys uh, have uh, mentioned that uh, they are not able to see the screen so now the issue is resolved so okay we can see here uh, we have successfully successfully deployed the war java java war application this is the java web application and this have the form okay uh, i will check my database whether uh, the table is created or not okay so i will check this database the hon i will use the command hon i will use the command hon and i will see uh, i will check whether this table is created or not okay so here i can see this uh, dashboard i mean the all tables which is required from my application so this have created okay so in sorry guys with this uh, in current application there is no direct public link to register in the account so for uh, this purpose what i will do uh, i will try to insert the uh, insert some of the data i mean data in the table so i will insert in this table okay i have a, uh, i have inserted the data in a table and sorry okay now i can see this data is inserted okay the next thing is uh, 
I have inserted this uh, in another table also. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now, what I will do? I will try to access this. Oh. Okay. Again, it's. Uh, I mean, my application is got uh, terminated. Okay. I will check the log to see what is the issue. Okay. Here, guys, you can see this is the syntax error. I mean, uh, this is the syntax of uh, hn dot member. I mean, this is the case issue. Okay, so for this reason, what I will do, uh, the unlike this uh, uh, installation in the mice, I mean in the Windows, because in the here, in this case, this is the case sensitive. Okay, the table name will is the case sensitive, so it's trying to search that uh, the table in the uppercase, and it's not able to find that. Okay so for this i will uh, i will do some modification in the configuration file of the mysql i have opened now i have opened and i have put in insert mode okay And I will modify this uh, some of the properties. Okay. Now I will save. And I will restart this MySQL services. Again, I have got this error. Hmm. No, what I'm getting this issue. I will try to reload application. Okay. Means that uh, I mean, uh, 
now our application is refreshed and i can uh, i see saw this error message Oh, okay. Actually, uh, this got uh, this got deleted because uh, I have put uh, this file. I mean, in a property file, I have put uh, this property auto. I mean, DDL property as create. So what I will do? I will not uh, uh, create create again and again after the uh, the application startup. So what I will do? I will put as an update. and i will insert the, because the since the data is deleted so i will try to insert the data again okay Okay. Okay, I I have uh, inserted the data data again, and I have to insert in other database. Okay. Okay, I will try. Okay, now you guys see, uh, I have deployed this application, and uh, overall, I have uh, uh, I have set up this application, uh, set up the environment, and I have uh, deployed the application. So you guys, uh, 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 you uh, I think you guys got to know, uh, unlike of uh, Windows, uh, where uh, for the development purpose we normally. Uh, we we do and we, in most of the cases in the linux some additional steps also required like uh, the table case i mean uh, uh, upper case and lower case uh, issue the, you cannot see this uh, in uh, windows but uh, this we need to set up and uh, here uh, uh, you guys uh, got to know i mean how this uh, i have uh, i mean i did this uh, from my local machine through uh, ftp tool and ssh tool like putty and uh, winrcp and uh, I've the first uh, the, uh, at the start I, I set up this Java application and after that I set up this Tomcat server and after that I set up uh, this MySQL server and I altered the, the default password and I deployed the application and uh, as per my coding and as per the coding in the application whatever issue uh, we debugged and uh, we see in the log and uh, we rectify it and uh, we rectified uh, through the uh, i mean the correct step so here 
you you can you will see you can see this my application is deployed and this is working fine and uh, okay so that's all for uh, this session thank you guys for your time and thank you all uh, thank you fajr rahman uh, it was really wonderful session and it was very practical session you have shown everyone how to set up java or tomcat and other application which is required uh sorry actually i got disturbed because of some network issue um, i believe you are hearing me so just i just before i said that uh, we are very thankful for fajrul rahman who has taken this session and set up and so now very practically that how can set up java tomcat database and other uh, application uh, other software which is required to deploy application on aws it is not easy job that you can show in one session all this stuff and uh, Uh, practically show you that I, we have launched one application which is live now so really it was very amazing and uh, i could see that many of the people who left in in between because it was practical but i would request to everyone i will share the feedback form also to know that uh, what could be the reason and other things uh, if you go and see this session repeatedly definitely it will help you end to end i could not see a single lecture where we someone has covered practically all this stuff so really i am very thankful to fadlur rahman and soon session will be available on our mp admin channels thank you jazakallah khair i would advise to mr nazmul huda khan to give a vote of thanks to our panelist and attendees who was with us since last one and a half year half hour <coughs> mr nazmul rahman please join me assalamu alaikum all once again uh, the main and the foremost thanks goes to mr fadlur rahman sahab who has delivered his session amazingly alhamdulillah really and yeah it was uh, practical and the way he has delivered session was uh, really interesting and amazing so said uh, fadur rahman i really want to say thanks to you on behalf of uh, all the people from the mp from the audience from the panelist thanks a lot for your session for your time and i want to say thanks to all the panelist who has uh, really worked hard who made this thing who organized all these things and try to make things go as smooth as possible so thanks to all the panelists and along the panelists i want to say thanks to all the audience who brought up time to sit and listen our uh, this session and they have given a time to understand this thing i hope inshallah it will be beneficial for you and you guys have taken an advantage from it and as mr jamil said that this video will be there on amp channels and other uh, uh, medias as well inshallah so i request you all please go once again and see this video and you can ask your question at any time before we wind up this session i would like to ask you all if you guys have any questions now you can you know ping me or you can ask us okay we are very glad to answer your question inshallah